that go. about this in my office. I'll get to you in a minute, Buster. In the meantime, shut it. OK, listen up, everyone. I want all jewellery often placed on your left-hand side. Same goes for cash. Don't anybody move a muscle while my assistant starts the collection. OK, Buster, show us you're safe. Good. Now I won't have to shoot you for the combination. Just kidding. Hey, look on the bright side. Now you've got something to talk about. Let's go. The police are on their way. Great. Bloody great. Safe. Cash mostly. Yeah. The takings from our cafe. Uh, you don't know how much it was, do you? About 12 grand. Ooh, not in the habit of banking daily, eh? Usually, but sometimes we don't get around to it till the next day. Hi, Mick. Uh, this is Detective Michael Riley, Steve Brennan. Steve. What are you doing here? You got a yes, Oh, or no, Helen called me. Oh, right. Look, um, we'll need you to uh, come to the station with us, if you don't mind, along with the other guests. Susie! I was just leaving. Uh huh. Uh, we'll need to talk to you, you know that. I already told the young guy everything I know. Uh, we'd appreciate it if you go out it again for us, just from the beginning. You tried to the old one in for a younger, more attractive model. Yeah. Uh, Gavin, you going down the station? Yeah. Could you take this lady in your boat, please? I get seasick. I'll wait in the car. Hey, Helen. I'm going to interview Mr Brennan. Do you want to help Gavin out? You don't want me to call Jack? No, I don't know. Uh, Mick and I will handle it, OK? Uh, girls to the right. To the right. Boys upstairs. Ladies. Do you want me to interview Steve with you? No, 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 I'll do it. You uh, stick with Mrs. Cleavy, Jake. So is Steve Brennan a friend of yours? As far as friends go. Well, is he a friend or isn't he? I was invited to his party. I had my handbag stolen by a couple of stick-up merchants. End of story. It's not the sort of thing that happens to me every Saturday night. Lucky you. What else can I tell you? Look, I just want some information, OK? Just some background. That's all, OK? I don't know, just humour me. I can do that. There are about 20 people there, invite only. They're all friends of mine. Well, they didn't seem in much of a hurry to hang around afterwards, did they? Yeah, well, they had to get home and cancel their credit cards. Right. Look, I reckon it's not the first time those crooks have visited your house, you know? They were in and out pretty quickly. Well, I wasn't giving them the guided tour. 
Yeah, I know, but they uh, seem to know what they were looking for, you know what I mean? If there were drugs there, I didn't see any. Does anyone ever lie to you and get away with it? Not that I know of. Again, I don't see what this has got to do with the robbery. Well, it just would have made the property a more attractive target. I'm looking for my husband, Steve. Steve Brennan. And you're... Leanne. OK, Leanne, he's actually upstairs being interviewed at the moment. If you'd like to take a seat. Miss Susie, can you please read this thoroughly for me? Mm-hmm. And then sign it. Not a problem, detective. Thank you. Jewellery and the cash from the safe. Anything else? No, that's it. What's going on, Steve? Nothing, it's all right. Nothing? I was told they got the takings. Don't worry about it. Most of it's insured. You're OK? Well, that's the main thing. Thank God you didn't decide to play the hero with that rusty revolver. Only your husband didn't tell us he had a gun on the premises. It's an odd 38. Oh, the gun and must he pass you by, Mr. Look, I kept it in the safe. They probably got that as well. Right. Well, you know we'll have to charge you with possession of an unlicensed firearm, don't you? I've just had my home invaded. But my friend's scared shitless. 12,000 bucks stolen and I'm the one that's being charged. What about the thugs that did this to us? Look, we're going to investigate this crime, OK? It's just not helping us if you're not up front with us. 12,000 bucks. It's a lot of cappuccinos. Sanity was just a uh, random hit in the Brennans for innocent victims. Oh, right? come on. Hitting the Brennans is like winning the jackpot. You've got a safe full of cash. You've got probably a huge stash of cocaine. You've got witnesses who won't talk to us. <sighs> so he's a coke dealer. Well, he neglected to mention the possession of a firearm. He was very uncooperative with his guest list. Ends a cafe, size of a shoebox. Ends a bloody big house, don't he, Rachel? Let's say a million plus. Well, it doesn't necessarily mean that's from the proceeds of cocaine. No, but it's a reasonable line of inquiry. You've got undeclared wealth, black money, and the crooks knew about it. What about Brennan's wife? Yeah, curious. She wasn't at her own party. Where was she? She was at the cafe. You talked to her? Yeah, but only in the presence of her husband. We're going to go down there and have another chat today. Maybe she's just one of those old-fashioned girls who's just happy to hang in the kitchen. All right, your type is it, Jack? Your type. Oh, no, no, Susie Abramovich. She's oh, now that's the girl for you, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah righto, righto. Right. Moving on, moving on. Mm. What's with you and Susie Abramovich? What? Come on. Ah, oh, she screwed us over once to get rid of a boyfriend of hers that she couldn't control. She's a manipulative little bitch, that girl. You watch yourself, because she's after you. I was always planning to go, but someone called in sick and I had to work. Oh, that's a shame. It was a good party. Uh, your husband said it was invitation only, is that right? Well, yeah, Steve's always pretty selective when it comes to having friends around. Oh, you'd have to be selective having that much money on the premises. Oh, these friends of his, they didn't really stay around afterwards to offer support, did they? Did you know that he'd hired a prostitute for the night? What do you want me to say? You know who else would have been at the party? Well, I'm sure Steve could tell you that. But they were his friends. Well, what about this money? Uh, do you know why it wasn't banked? Oh, it would have been tomorrow. It's just bad timing. Is it possible that Steve spoke about how much money he had on the premises? I couldn't say. Uh, do you know if there was any money that your husband didn't know about in the safe? I don't know what you mean. Right. OK. Thanks very much for your help. I might grab a piece of that carrot cake if you don't mind. It must sell pretty good, eh? Yeah, not too bad. Mum's is much better, though. Oh, I hate carrot cake. Look, she was a pretty cool customer, wasn't she? Considering yeah, but if you're living on. a high life and you're accumulating massive assets, it's handy to have, like, legitimate business records that'll substantiate your income. Right. So what you're saying is uh, all that money from drugs, you whack it through the cafe, Bob's your uncle, right? Brennan? Hello? Mr. Brennan?
Yeah, Rachel. Yeah, you and Mick better get over here. Yeah, I don't think Steve Brennan's going to help you any further with the investigation. Yeah. What's going on? Uh, I'm Detective Rachel Goldstein. Are you a friend of the Brennans? Steve, yeah. Right. What's happened? What was your name? Tom Duffy. Where's Steve? Uh, do you want to come inside? Well, sometimes I just drop by yeah, when the end's working. All right, mate. Were you at the party here last night? Yeah. Yeah, but I missed all the excitement. Right, so you left before the robbery then? Just lucky, I guess. Yeah. Look, do you want to take a seat? You okay? Yeah, jump in there. Do you mind uh, coming down to the station yeah. after all this, have a bit of a talk about it? Is that okay? If I have to. Okay. Steve, eh? Has anyone called Leanne yet? Yeah, yeah, it's been taken care of. Listen, mate, uh, you might hang in here for a minute. We'll get back to you. Yeah, sure. You all right? So, you reckon Steve Brennan's on down? Got stolen last night. He used to kill him today. Yeah, possibly. What, ruling out suicide then? Yeah, yeah, the gun was found too far from the body. Yeah. What do you got there, mate? This might explain a few things. Oh, Helen. Any word on Mrs. Brennan yet? Oh, yeah, um, like the guys have picked her up and right. they're bringing her here. Oh, this way, Mr. Duffy. Thanks. Nick? Susie Abramovich called for you. She asked you to give her a call back when you get a charge, said it wasn't urgent. Thank you, Taylor. Just take a seat over there. Thanks, Tom. Listen, mate, you're going to have to fill us in on a couple of Steve Brennan's activities. Yeah, like what was your association with him? Huh? Told you. Friend. What, not business associate? No? No. What do you know about Steve Brennan's connection with cocaine? Nothing at all. So you never bought anything from him, mate? Nothing. Look, Steve was a friend. And that's it. OK, you tell me just one thing, then. What type of party would Steve Brennan be throwing for his wife not to attend? It was a... a swingers party. It's couples what? doing couples. I guess a man to get bored with the same woman <laughs> after 15 years? <laughs> oh, no, it depends on the woman. Oh, what are we talking about, Jack? Any particular woman? No, no, I'm just saying that there are some women out there that Blake wouldn't get bored with after 15 years. Right. Yeah, not right. that I met any. Uh, that's fine, that's yeah. fine. Right. Yeah, and Brennan's waiting in your office. Oh, is she OK? Well, you know, as well as can be expected. What about Duffy? Shed any light there? Oh, unlikely you killed Brennan. It's possible they were involved Listen, somehow. Listen, this Tom Duffy fellow's got an awful lot of form, including two counts of supply of cocaine. Yeah, it looks like Duffy was actually Brennan's supplier, not his customer. Ah, oh, right, OK. And Brennan's doing a nice little retail trade at the swingers' parties. Yeah, so. possibly. Right. You want to see what we can get from Leanne Brennan? Yeah, she keeps her cards close to her cheek. Yeah, but maybe she really doesn't know what her eye man was up to. Yeah, well, if she does, she might talk to us now that he's been murdered. Do we? Your husband was shot with a thirty-eight, Mrs Brennan, possibly his own gun. Do you think it was the same guys from last night? I mean, the gun was stolen during the robbery, so... That's one inference we could make, yeah, yeah. Maybe they thought there was more money. It's also possible that your husband's death was related to the sale of cocaine. What are you giving at? This was found in your bedroom, Miss Brennan. I've never had cocaine or any other drug in my home. If Steve had it there, he had no intention of letting me know. So, I find it very hard to believe, Mrs Brennan, that you weren't aware that your husband was using cocaine and possibly selling it to others. And in fact, the cafe that you own was an acceptable front to bury the money that Steve was making. I said I know nothing about that. So you still believe that last night's robbery was a random hit? I have no idea. Steve was having some kind of a midlife crisis at 35. I don't know who he was running around with. And I didn't want to know who he was screwing. Right, so, so do you think it, it, it might have been the cocaine? Do you think? That had something to do with it? That, that this is what they were after? Steve's right? the only one who could explain that. No love loss in that marriage. Can't rule her out as a suspect. Mm. Another message for you. Oh, thanks. Look, she's not to be trusted, you know that, don't you? Who? That's Susie Abramovich. Who says I trust her? Right, just for the sex then, isn't no, it? No, no, it's just a phone call. She called me, I'm calling her. Oh, yeah. It only occurred to me later, that's why I rang. Nothing specific. I just a sense that one of the robbers could have been female. Yeah. Sorry, I thought you might be interested. Oh, I am. No, you did the right thing. Thank you. So what's this other thing you said I should know? 
Oh, that I was hired to be at the party? <laughs> I figured that, mate. Oh, really? Clever you. I bet you assumed it was Steve Brennan who hired me. It was his wife. Yeah, hang on, hang on. But at the night of the hold-up, you didn't acknowledge one another. Why should we? It was purely a business transaction. So this is this something you do often at parties? Uh, yeah, it ties me over. I've just started a new business. Things are a bit slow. You don't strike me as a person who's short on initiative. Neither do you. in his home office. Oh, he made a few calls, didn't he? Yeah. A lot of these are mobiles. Cece was very helpful. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I bet she was. <laughs> she told me that one of the robbers at the party might have been female. Yeah, no one else said that. Well, it's something to keep in mind, though. Mm. She also told me that she wasn't hired by Steve Brennan. She was hired by Leanne Brennan. Oh, that's interesting. What about it? Well, it just shows Leanne was lying to us. Yeah, one lie to another. What's Susie got to gain by lying to me? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Steve Brennan's phone calls. He made a lot to a certain mobile number. Do you want to find out who they are? Sure, Rachel. Hey. Thanks, Helen. What's your problem? Oh, you know, that's Susie Ambromovich. She's bad news. Yeah, thanks, mate. Uh, me and my wife are real keen. Yeah, you don't mind a bit of vanilla, but, you know, don't mind going out and getting something a bit fancier every now and again, too, you know? Toss her. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, thanks. Hang on, hang on. Brennan made 15 calls in three weeks to this Martin Downs. I was going to give him a call and pose as one of the customers. All right. He's one of those swingers, is he? Yeah, oh, he hides out this ferry to like-minded couples. Very romantic. Oh, <laughs> We're not open yet. This might help. Yeah, where's Martin Downs? Rabbit! Ah, oh, karaoke. Comes with a cover charge. Sausage Sanger and a bit of Neil Diamond. I'm not a fan. <sighs> Bloody Downs, what can I do you for? G'day. Ah, uh, look, um, you know Steve Brennan, Mr Downs? Uh, Steve Brennan? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've met him, yeah. Right, where'd you meet him? Yeah, all right, OK, look, I heard about what happened to him, OK? If you think I had anything to do with it, you're barking up the wrong tree. Just answer the question, Mr Downs. Steve O's a regular. Likes my parties. We, we provide an opportunity for you and your wife to socialise with we other know couples. About your parties, right? well, mate, if I want to socialise, I'll stand around a bus stop and do it for free. It's the nature of supply and demand. Okay, who was supplying the coke? Was that Steve Brennan? No way. Look, we know Steve Brennan's phone was used to call you regularly. We know he supplied coke to this sort of party. All right, we know. Okay, now what was your deal with him? Well, I wasn't dealing with him. It was her. The wife? Leanne came here. Yeah, once. I got the feeling she didn't like it. But after that, she started calling me, wanted me to track down a couple she'd met here. What for? Well, she's just throwing a party for the old man and she wanted to invite them. Hey, can you give us their names? Yeah? Samson and Cherry. She wanted me to pass a message on to them. All right, Samson and Cherry. You think their mums called them that? I don't know. I know they've got a V&B number, though. A voice mailbox. Yeah, sex for sale. Oh, why that couple, do you reckon? Mate, she picked them, not me. That's all I know, OK? Oh, look, you gave us the description, but it's pretty vague. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit rough, isn't it? You know, one minute, there's Leanne Brennan, she's slagging off her husband's behaviour. Next thing, she's organising couples to spice up his party. Yeah, you put that together with Susie's feelings, that one of the armed robbers was male and the other one was female. Maybe this Samson and Cherry did the stick-up, they came back next day and they knocked off Steve Brennan. And they were hired by the charming wife. And of course, maybe the, the killing is unrelated to the robbery. Maybe a jealous husband. Somebody didn't like their wife sleeping with Steve Brennan. Or a jealous wife. That brings us back to Leanne. Three, five, six, the premises are clear. We've located one deceased. Over. That's a copy. Excuse me. It's Tom Duffy. Oh, what? Well, when the staff turned up this morning, he was just lying there dead. Was this Leanne? Well, uh, she hasn't turned up for work, they can't get on her phone, they can't get her at home. Oh, but what the hell is going on here? Whatever it is, Cleanne's coming to know 
Just found this on him, not much. Do you want to go around to Leanne's place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, just okay, stay yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, okay. The car's in the garage. Check around the back. Looks like she left in a bit of a hurry. Yeah, you see that black thing there? I reckon that might be worth a look. Leanne's not the type to leave this behind. Mm. Well, she's definitely on the run from somebody. Well, why not? I mean, her husband's been murdered. His possible supplier's been murdered. Maybe she's next. I see she had an appointment this morning at the cafe with this VMB 15486. Yeah, that's the same number Rabbit gave us for Samson and Cherry. You reckon she made the meeting? Oh, look, it's not impossible, but I mean, you know, the fact that she left the house in a hurry, and I'm in a real hurry, I don't think it's likely. Mm. How does Tom Duffy fit in? Money. You see, if Steve Brennan died, left a shortfall, he might have been looking for some kind of reimbursement. And just got real unlucky. All right. We still don't know what part, if any, Samson and Cherry might be playing in all of this. No, but we know Leanne had at least four meetings with him before Steve was murdered, so she's either right in the list or she's the next one on it. VMB 108. We will do what your wife or girlfriend won't. Like what? Sleeping in the wet spot? How's it go? Any luck? Have a look at this one, eh? Burger Boy. Lean beef with a wholesome bun. Up with kindness, TLC, consideration, thoughtfulness, with a side order of music, movies, water skiing, and cricket. Oh, he sounds like a bit of a ride. Sydney Water Police. Except there's a nice Catholic liberal girl in here that just might be your fault. Oh, I'll take a look at that. Yep, we'll be there as soon as we can. Right, guys, you've got two persons on premises, waterfront property in Balmain, and they got to it by a small runabout. And how long ago? Five to ten. Could it have been the two that did the uh, armed robbery, Brendan? <sighs> maybe it is. Maybe you should go with them and find out. Well, maybe I will, isn't it? Is there anything you like? I did, actually. What the hell do these guys think they're doing? I'll follow you guys. Take the left side, Tyler! Saturday night, the party you held up. Which party? Oh, come on, mate. You're going to have to do better than that. Steve Brennan and a close friend of his were murdered, and we think you had something to do with it. Murder? Us? Kidding. How often do you buy cocaine from Steve Brennan? Not often. Never. Sorry, not often or never. What's it going to be, mate? Hey? Come on. So do you go by the name of Cherry? No, do you? Do you know a Leanne Brennan? Never heard of her. That's funny, because we hear she tried to contact you. Tell her to try again. Well, that'd be hard, because she's missing. And we reckon you know why. Look, I bought a bit of coke from him. I was round his place early in the day, and he was boasting about this big party he was giving. Yeah, yeah. And knowing him, you knew that there'd be plenty of cash and drugs on the premises, right? Yeah, we were in the neighbourhood, you know. We thought we'd drop by and take a look. No one got hurt. We don't believe in violence. Oh, is that why your boyfriend tried to stab me? Self-defence and all that. Oh, come on, Faith. You're not doing yourself any favours here. Steve Brennan's been murdered. Tom Duffy was found killed this morning. And Leanne Brennan's still missing. So I'm just going to need a little bit more from you. You went back the next day, right, not expecting Steve to be there. And when he was, you shot him with a gun that you found in his safe. With no, his own gun, yeah? No, there was no gun in the safe. Sorry, never seen this pair before in my life. Now take a closer look, Mr Downs. Are you certain those aren't the couple 
who call themselves Samson and Cherry. Totally. How about you call me Rabbit? Makes me feel less like the defender. All right, Rabbit. Well, we'll see you soon then. Do hope so. I think we've got ourselves a pair of thieves, but not murderers. I suppose you think Susie might be able to give us something, do you? Well, why not? I mean, you know, she's the only other one hired by Leanne to go to the party. Yeah, right. You know? Now, she might know where they are. Yeah. Do you still believe in Santa Claus, Michael? It's worth a try. What? What's she going to give us something for? She's probably in on the whole deal. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rachel, uh... All right, I get it. You want to cramp your style, you know? Hope you get something out of her, though. Hey, Susie. Michael Riley, I just want to ask you a few questions. Won't take long. Haven't you heard of the telephone? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> Sorry. This guy So do you remember Samson or Cherry being at the party? Yeah, sure I do. What can you tell me about them? Well, everyone else was your basic eastern suburbs cokehead, but uh, these two... Who knows, maybe Steve Brennan liked a bit of rough stuff. So do you know where I might be able to find them? No. Yep. Would you recognise them again if you saw them? Yeah. Probably. Did uh, Leanne Brennan hire them also? I don't know, Detective. My arrangement was a one-to-one -one transaction with Leanne. trying to avoid Mrs. Brennan, Samson and Cherry. Well, maybe it was just us you were afraid of. Did you murder your husband, Mrs. Brennan? You know all the answers, why ask? How much did you pay Samson and Cherry, Mrs. Brennan? Ten thousand up front and fifteen after. They were to lure Steve from the party and do it then. But the robbery stuffed things up for you, so Samson and Cherry had to come back the next day, yeah? <laughs> do you give Samson and Cherry your husband's gun sometime before the night of the party? Yes. Do you kill Tom Duffy? No. Then why did he come to the cafe this morning? Who knows? Looking for money, maybe. I think Steve owed him. Well, you were meant to meet Samson and Cherry at the cafe this morning. Yes. But I didn't have the money for them. The money stolen from the safe was to pay them and I hadn't been able to work anything else out. So they came looking for you at home because you didn't show the cafe? Why did you do it, Mrs Brennan? Why did you want your husband dead? I was so disappointed in our life. Everything was mortgaged to the hilt. Steve was pouring everything we had down the drain. He humiliated me, forcing me to have sex with other men. 
and I didn't know how to put a stop to it. Susie Abramovich, where does she fit into this? I employed her for the party, but that's all. She knew I was upset and I hope she'd let me stay with her without asking too many questions. Right, so she knew nothing about uh, any of this? Nothing no. You have to believe me. She's separate from all of this. I don't want to get her into trouble because of me. So Tom Duffy was just collateral damage in all of this? Yeah, yeah. More or less, you know, wrong place, wrong time. The Bondi IDs turned his place over and all they found was a small set of electric scales. That's it. Any drugs? No, but there's uh, several messages on his answering machine. You know, Blake's wanting to give him a call. Hmm? Steve Brennan, it's a couple of days old. it has got Brennan saying that he's got half the day that Duffy wants and will he call him ASAP? And the D's reckon, you know, he sounds a bit shaky, a bit nervous. So Duffy was selling to Steve? Hmm. Any clues on the whereabouts of Samson and Cherry? No, not yet, but even if we find them, what have we got? We've got uh, Mrs. Brennan's statement linking them to either of the killing, and that's it. I think we should set up a meeting with them. Through the voicemail? A date for sex? Yeah, why not? They're still in business. <laughs> what's, what's that going to achieve? Well, I'm hoping that they'll tell a couple of potential customers something they wouldn't tell you or I. Mm -hmm. Could be worth a shot. Well, you're joking. Walker went for it. Well, if it's a problem, I'm sure I can get Susie to wear a wire and she'll come with me. But I prefer it if you would be. Look, let's just get one thing straight, all right, Michael? I am not taking my clothes off for anyone, all right? Trust me. Why? Because I need you then. Right, you're all set then? Okay, you'll have Jack and McCall standing by on the harpy and the nemesis for backup, should you need it. We'll be there to protect your virtue, Rachel. All right, all right, let's not get too excited, everyone, okay? Yeah, can you put those <laughs> Think about something else, Gavin. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay, but it's Well done, let's go. Let's go, Eddie. Police Lodge Harvey to Nemesis. Watch your position. Just coming into position now, Dave. Okay, copy that. Take a seat. Jack, can you hear us loud and clear? Yeah, we're in position now. 200 over. So, how long do you want to give him, Jack? Long enough to relax, not long enough to get too excited. No, I meant Mick and Rachel. Yeah, yeah, me too. Well, it looks like the playmates have arrived. Stand by, Nemesis. We have suspects in position. Can you do the honours, then? Sure. Do, do I charge him? Do whatever you do. All right, rep. Don't warn them, all right? You get too much to lose. Hmm? Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> He's a spunk rat. Lucky girl. Oh, good day, mate. How are you going? You're the bloke that rang. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Cherry. Oh, hey, Cherry. Vinny, there you go. Uh, this is tomorrow. Tammy, for sure. Right. You reckon we ought to loosen up a bit first, or, um... You want to get right down to it? Oh, let's get right down to it. Oh, no, let's loosen up a bit first, eh? Oh, yeah, yeah. What's your poison? Whatever's going, mate. Whatever's going. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Right? Whatever. Alright. Cherry. What do you think of the tits? <laughs> Not too foul, are they? Nah, seem worse. <laughs> Sounds like they're really going to drag this out. So what do we need before we can go in and get him? Oh, a full confession would be nice, but I can't see that happening. Let's get us in a bit closer, Andy. Don't want to take any chances. Ah, I'll just have a beer. My sinuses are a bit shot. What about you, beautiful? Ah, uh, look, I just chopped up in the car, you know. I feel a bit fired up already. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Samson, I know the woman whose husband sells you that stuff. Leanne Brennan. Yeah. Reckon you help her out with a problem with her old man. That's what I do. Help out ladies with problems. Right, Cherry? Hey, see, she was grateful. She's gonna pay you for your job. Hey. Where is the bitch? Take it easy, mate. I'll take your bloody head off, mate. That slag's done me big time. No, no, no she didn't. Didn't you do the job? She's gonna pay you. You bet she will. I made her husband die quick. She'll be different. 
Get me on board now. Nemesis, change your plan. Get the ferry on the double. What's this all about, hmm? You set me up here. Leanne just... She just wanted us to talk to you. Suck, Sammy. Sammy. Just, just put it away, you know? I reckon they're cops. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? Come. Now, what you Check them out, Cherry. If they are cops, they're dead. A dozen cops about to get on the train. Shut up! Oh, sit down! A dozen, eh? Well, it'll be the first of them to die. Police, Put off your good times and adventures for about a decade. Two. <laughs> rabbit. Now I know why they call you a rabbit. Huh? Because oh, you're pretty good at finding yourself a burrow to hide in. Hey, any time you feel like visiting, I'll give you a special discount. Oh, I don't think so. It's been nice, though. It's been good. could be in a lot of trouble here, Susie. You could be charged with concealing a serious offence. Except I didn't know, did I? So you're telling me Leanne Brennan never confided in you and you never knew about her plans to kill her husband? No. And afterwards I had no idea what she'd done. I knew she was frightened and I felt sorry for her. Heart of gold, eh? <sighs> Look, I know I've had my problems with you people in the past, but I have done nothing wrong here and you know it. Okay? As a matter of fact, I was a help to you guys, wasn't I? Yeah, you could call a square, Susie. You strike me as a decent sort of a bloke, considering. Considering what? Well, you're a cop, aren't you? <laughs> Actually, I need a bit of help from the law myself at the moment. What sort of help? Well, I told you I was studying new business, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, there's this pig of a bloke who's trying to muscle in on it. A standover man? Yeah. His name's Skinny Omar, you heard of him? Yeah, I know Skinny Omar. Yeah, he's been making all these threats. He even bashed one of my girls last week. It's really not my territory, Susie. No, but, but, I did say but. Mm -hmm. What I'll do is make a phone call to some blokes I know down at the King's Cross Detectives and see what they can do, right? And then we'll take it from there, OK? Yeah, OK. <laughs> I knew I wasn't wrong about you. You're all right, Michael Ray. <laughs> not for a cop. <laughs> yeah, it's sad, don't you reckon, the way the relationships just sort of fall apart? What do you mean? No, I was just thinking about the Brennans. I mean, why didn't she just divorce the guy? Why go to all that trouble just telling him to pack his bags at the road? Well, you know, blokes can't take the hint, you know? Some blokes are like that. Yeah, not me. No, but you came back, didn't you? Yeah, I wonder why. Right, now we've got that sorted. Look, I am. Yeah, cheers. 